Coming up next, I talk about the followfocusgears.com follow focus gear ring. Coming up next. Hey, hey everybody, JDV here for another review show. This time I'm gonna be looking at the followfocusgears.com uh, follow focus gear ring that they make for uh, dozens of different lenses and they're adding new camera lenses all the time for the purposes of this review i'm putting it on my sigma um, 16 millimeter 1.4 lens which is a brilliant little lens i'm going to be doing a review on that later uh, however just the lens is awesome and this follow focus gear by followfocusgear.com is awesome so what is this what it is is it allows you to it's a ring that you slip on over your camera and it allows you to use a follow focus unit. Now, Cinefide lenses um, already have the gear teeth on them, but most SLR lenses and DSLR lenses uh, don't have those teeth because, of course, the primary aim of those lenses is aimed at photographers first and then movie makers second. And what it, it allows you to do is you, when you use your crank, it, it, the gears go into here, and just allow this to turn for some buttery smooth uh, focus transitions between you know your actors or the background and your actors or whatever and so this is a very slick product uh, it's lightweight it's tough I guess it's made out of some kind of a plastic I don't know if it's printed or what but it, I mean as soon as you get it you, you look at the material and go oh, wow that's that's very space age looking stuff and it seems like it's very tough um, lightweight you know, everything that you want want it to be, it works perfectly on my cheap $50 follow focus um, gear that I have from Amazon. I have no doubt that it would work on more expensive ones. I do own a more expensive one, but it's out right now. Um, uh, but it, ju it just works. I mean, it, it gives you the teeth that you need. And like I said, they make them for a bunch of different lenses. If you contact Sean over there, I think he might even be able to make you a follow focus unit for lenses that they don't have out yet. So it's very sick. And one of the cool things is it's seamless. So one of the negatives about the rubber band style ones that you have to screw on at the top is that screw always ends up hitting, you know, one of your gears or unlike that my GH5 here, I have the microphone uh, extending out like right about there on the lens. And my, the other follow focus unit I have would always hit the mic. Um, and it would always hit this, the, you know, the, uh, the follow focus gear itself if it went too far. So this has the advantage of being truly seamless. And that is a massive advantage for any lens that does not have a focus clutch. Usually in a focus clutch, you know, when you pull it back for manual, it'll lock in, in, in at one position. But most lenses now are fly by wire, which means they're just going to spin forever, which makes this uh, product even more useful now here's the, the caveat about getting it on when you get it and i'll be cutting to, to some footage here it's a little too tight it, like you won't be able to just slip it on and go um, followfocusgears.com essentially recommends four different ways to put it on but i'm going to show you the way that i put it on they either advise using like a heat gun like a, like a powerful uh, hair dryer uh, or they say to sand it. Alternatively, if it's a little loose after doing that, you can use little wood wedges or gaffer's tape or something like that. Now, I'm going to just tell you the way that I did it because one look at this, I thought, well, no, I've tried to sand things evenly before for uh, kind of um, tight tolerances things, and I can never get the sand perfectly even on all sides. So it would always be a little... So I knew right off the bat I didn't want to use sandpaper I did not want to use a hairdryer, at least not at the time, because I, as when I put this on, it was late at night, my family was already sleeping, so I didn't want a loud hair, hair dryer. But I was also concerned that if I heated up one side of this, the other side would be cold, so I'd always be having to, to move it around, and I just didn't want to mess with that. So what I did, and what I would advise you to do, no, I don't, this is not what Follow Focus Gears told me to do. So they might say, hey, don't do that, it's too dangerous. But what I did is I just brought a small pot of water up to a, a, a light simmer, just so a little bit of steam was coming off of it. I would not set it any higher than medium, probably 
you know, set it at low, medium low, and just let it come to a, to a little quick, well, not boil, but a, a simmer. Maybe even a, a little under a simmer, just so it's warmer than the air. And that took about five, six minutes to do on a normal electric stove. And then I just dropped the gear into it. And sure enough, after about, oh, I'd want to say about five minutes, definitely after 10 minutes, you want to check it. This thing was nice and pliable. And I just, you know, see, I just slipped it right on over there. And, you know, when it cooled down, it is absolutely a perfect fit. I mean, it's, it's like the lens was made with this on. It's, it's really unbelievable. So that's the technique I would use and did use is to use warm water to heat this thing up evenly, slip it on, boom, you're done. There's no sanding, there's no nothing. I didn't, I mean, literally I was done using it and there you go. Maybe in extreme, extreme uh, heat, it, it could get a little loose. And of course you can't take it on and off easily. But then again, I don't know how you possibly could. You want a snug fit. You don't want the thing to come off at, at the worst time, right, as you're focusing on your star actor. Um, so it, it's a little bit of a negative, I guess, but it's just a, it's just a flip side of it being a very snug uh, a product. So who is this for? Well, this is for people who are, are uh, kind of a notch up in their video making, who are using uh, manual focus instead of autofocus, and they're using the follow focus, um, you know, uh, wheel or gears. Um, and for that purpose, it's absolutely brilliant. It's for a bunch of different lenses. Uh, I mean, obviously, I haven't tested them all, but I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't work just as well on any other lens as they did this. And they make them for Sony, Panasonic, Zangi, uh, Canon. I mean, there's just a bunch of lenses. They're adding more every day. Go check out their site. So would I recommend this product? The answer is yes. I give this a five out of five stars. It's just an amazing thing. Um, and what is the cost on this thing? It costs, I think, I think they all go around for about 35 bucks. Check their website, their prices might change. Uh, and then I think they charge you five bucks shipping. So for $40, you add, you make your, your lens, your normal SLR or DSLR lens into a cinified lens, you know, at least in terms of the gearing. And that's pretty darn good, especially because I was looking at the prices for the rubber band ones, you know, the ones that you kind of strap in and then you lock it down. I was like going for like 17, 18 bucks was like the cheapest one I could find, maybe 15, but I had only two star reviews. So, I mean, you're, you're, not getting, you're not getting any kind of a gear ring on there for less than 15, 16 bucks anyway. And the chances are that is not gonna be very good. I have one of those rings. I can't even find it because I used it for this lens. And then since I had this, I just, you know, I threw it in a box or something because it's, it's, it's nothing compared to how good this is. So go to followfocusgears.com. They didn't pay me or anything for this uh, review. It's just, uh, it was just a product I was really interested in. This is the primary lens we're going to be using on our sixth uh, feature, The Devil Screams at Midnight. So I was very keen on al adding a, a solid follow focus um, option uh, for this lens and Bam, there it was, 40 bucks. It, just a brilliant solution. Awesome co uh, um, company to deal with. Super fast uh, service. You know, sent me a bunch of emails. The box that comes in, you can see, you know, it's not beautiful or anything, but it, you know, it's just a, a plastic ring, really. So, how, how you know, uh, exotic does it have to have? Uh, or B, it comes with a, uh, uh, a lens cloth. It comes with a little sheet telling you how to do it, but I'm telling you right now, try the water method. Be, now, the one caveat I would say about when you use warm water, like the teeth will be soft too. So you have to be very gentle when you're taking it up and pretty gentle once you're putting it on. But really, it's if you do it right, um, you're going to have a, a very tight fit or just use, you know, again, sandpaper or whatever, whatever you're comfortable with. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this review. If you have a, a piece of kit that you want me to review, just go ahead and let me know down below and I will try to get to it. Uh, it's This is a great product if you use a follow focus and a normal lens. It's just, it's night and day better than what I was using. And for 40 bucks, which, which includes the shipping and handling, it's just an awesome deal. Okay, until next time, um, you know, like, subscribe, share, love each other, and mwah! See you in the next one. Bye-bye.
is when you have these, these gear teeth, either on a normal cinefied lens or when you put this ring on, you're not going to be able to use your reverse cap. So, okay, so here's my lens hood. Cap, reverse lens hood. So there, you know, so there it's on there. And I said, okay, that's great. Now, normally I'd be able to put this on. Wait a minute. Wow, it even works for that. Now that, look at that. The one negative I really was going to have about it, I don't have now. Wow, that's cool. So, I mean, at least on the Sigma uh, 16 millimeter, it allows you to reverse uh, the hood on there too. So, all right. Be sure to visit EvilGeniusEntertainment.com for exclusive content, swag, casting call news, and much, much more.